Hey guys, it's Lacey, and today I'm gonna to tell you about my water systems. I covered this a little bit in my base tour, but I wanted to make a standalone video so that people could find it easier. I like to keep my water all separated in reservoirs like this. Here's my clean water, and here's my contaminated water. Since contaminated water puts off contaminated oxygen, you need to make sure you have some type of wall between it and the oxygenated area that you live in. Also, keep your clean water reservoir entrances away from your main ladder so contaminated water can't run into them. With my reservoirs, I like to have a main reservoir and a backup reservoir. I have a pump from my secondary reservoir to my main reservoir so that it's always pumping into it, except if the water gets to the level of the vent, it will stop. And then the water will start to build up in the secondary reservoir. That way it keeps most of my water in one location. I haven't added that yet in my contaminated water reservoirs because I have so much, but I intend on putting one here, taking it through this wall and having it come out up here. I have liquid pumps in my contaminated reservoirs that run up into some water purifiers. The water purifiers take sand and they clean the water and they come out in my clean reservoirs. I put the liquid vents at the top, that way it has room to fill all the way up before it shuts off. I also have bio distillers, which make contaminated water filtering into my contaminated water pits. The bio distillers also make algae, so you can feed your algae plants or your algae deoxidizers, you know, whichever one you decide. You can plant the plants or you can murder the plants. Another thing I've run into and noticed that I feel like I should share with you guys is this. When this was fuller, because I popped a big bubble of water and put it in here, this was leaking into this little pit over here. So if it gets too full, apparently tile can't hold it. I'm guessing that a second layer of tile will keep it from doing that because it didn't happen in any location where it had something else against it. But as you can see, it happened here. Either reinforce your reservoirs or try not to keep them too full. It appears that you can repair them by doing this. But a little bit of water will leak out as they're repaired, so uh, be prepared to mop that up. Okay, well, I hope this helps with your base. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I'm happy to answer them. And if you like this video, then please hit subscribe so you can see me when I stream on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 1 p.m. Eastern and whenever I post videos. Also, please give this video a like or a dislike. And also, always remember, you are special and amazing, and thank you for being you. Love you guys. Bye.